So I've made sure I have all my supplies and tools ready right here. Before you start, make sure your engine is hot so the engine oil can nicely flow out. And I will start with removing this plastic engine cover. Engine oil pan plug is located in front on the passenger side. And I put there already the wrench that you can see where the plug is. And you are using wrench number 16 millimeter. I will open that filler cap. So I brought my oil drip pan and I'm ready to undo this bolt. I'm still holding that bolt there because I don't want the oil shoot with all the pressure out and be all over the ground. So I'm just being careful here. Here you can see the oil nicely flowing out. On this vehicle engine oil filter is located in this housing so let's see how we can replace that. To open the housing I will use my universal wrench here which just nicely wraps around the top and it will let me carefully remove the top. You see now it's nice and loose. I have placed the racks around for possible spills. I brought my another oil catching pan and I just carefully undo the entire filter uh, and make sure I, I minimize the oil spills. Oh, perfect. So here you can see the part I removed including the old filter. I will pull off the old filter, noticing the direction, it seems to be both sides are the same. All those o-rings need to be replaced once again, one, two, three and four right here. Okay, so I have installed one, two, three and four new o-rings, now I will nicely carefully install the new filter and I'm ready to go install it in the vehicle. Using very small amount of that oil which is remaining on the housing I will lubricate very slightly new o-rings so they nicely fit inside. It should be enough just very little bit and looking inside everything's good everything's fitting right I will start installing it back. Now how tight you go? It says right here 25 Newton meters which is not much of torque and what I do I use just my hand. I will not use any wrench. This is the way I will tighten it. And you know why? Because I don't need to worry about it because what is Sealing it, it's not how tight I tied it, but it's the o-rings which are in the housing. So this is good enough. The next step will be get underneath the vehicle and install back that oil pan bolt with the new washer. This bolt needs to be tight, nice and snug. The only thing you have to make sure that you don't tighten it way too hard because you might uh, strip the thread in the pan. When the bolt is nicely in its place I can finally start wiping off all that spill which is all over everywhere here. I can finally show you how the oil is dirty. So that just clearly shows that this engine oil change was really needed. To prevent spills I always like to use the funnel for pouring the new oil. So vehicle's manual says that changing the engine oil requires 8 quarts 
so I can really easily pour these five quarts maybe six without even measuring and then I will start paying attention to the engine oil level using the dipstick here I would like to show you how the new oil is clean you saw the used one and this is how the new oil looks like way different isn't it after pouring six quarts I can see oil touching the bottom line on the dipstick already so I will pour at least one more right now so I have uh, put eight quarts of the oil in this engine and I just see the level it's right on the top line right below so this is perfect always remember not to overfill the engine that will be mistake too you have not enough or too much this is a problem uh, we are basically done there are no leaks everything is closed I'm ready to put that cover back of course don't forget to reset your maintenance reminder which is for 10,000 miles uh, which is in another video you can see it on my channel and also if you want you can even check the oil level using the onboard computer there is also another video about uh, that procedure so thank you for watching thank you for your time and good luck with your own vehicle have a nice day